Biggest Pits Ever Made by Humans Diavik Diamond Mine Located in Canada, Diavik Diamond Mine is said to be the world's biggest diamond mine and holds the record for the most expensive diamonds ever mined. Reportedly, this mine is responsible for digging out over 1 billion carats of diamonds, worth around $5 billion. As per sources, the mine was first discovered by Frederick Wells and Leonard Hill in 1898. However, in 1912 the Canadian government purchased it from the owners and began the mining operations. Today the Diavik Diamond Mine is owned and operated by Rio Tinto PLC under Tech Resources Limited. The diamonds that this produces are of high and the best quality ranging from 0.05 carat to 2 tons. Berkeley Pit This lake, situated in Montana, is not a normal water body where tourists can take a swim or enjoy water activities. One mile long, half mile wide, 1,780 foot deep hole, was once a copper mine, but today it is filled with toxic chemicals, and taking a dip over here can be fatal. Also known as Lake of Demise, the mining operation began from 1955 to 1982, since then the hole has filled with over 900 feet worth of groundwater and rainwater. It was noted that the water level was constantly rising at the rate of roughly 0.7 feet per month, and in 2012, it reached 5,301.13 feet above sea level. If the water level reached a critical point, it would contaminate the nearby groundwater of the Butte Valley, where at that time, around 30,000 people lived. To stop this, a water treatment plant was built which is, reportedly, visible next to the waterfall on the northeast rim of the pit. Mir Mine Located in Myrny Eastern Siberia, the hole is approximately 525 meters, 1,722 feet, deep making it the fourth deepest hole in the world and has a diameter of 1,200 meters, 3,900 feet. This mine had won the title of the second largest excavated hole in the world, after Bingham Canyon Mine. The pit was so deep that it could suck a helicopter out of the air and into its depths, and it was sometimes referred to as the navel of the earth. As per the scientific explanation, when the cold air from the surface meets the heated air coming from the bowels of the mine, it creates a vortex powerful enough to suck helicopters and small aircraft. The diamond mine was discovered in 1955, and since then produced 10 million carats, 2,000 kilograms, of diamond per year, of which a relatively high fraction, 20%, were of gem quality. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory Reportedly, this observatory is termed the world's largest neutrino observatory at the South Pole. It took almost five years to build the project and a 4.8 megawatt enhanced hot water drill to make a hole in the ice. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory is a massive neutrino telescope encompassing 1 billion tons of instrumented ice at depths of 1.5 to 2.5 kilometers below Antarctica's surface near the South Pole. Researchers and scientists wanted to know what was going on down there and therefore decided to build this unique telescope. Finally, they have found evidence of high-energy neutrino emission from NGC 1068, also known as Messier 77. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that travel near the speed of light, some neutrinos come from the sun, while others come from cosmic rays interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. This discovery is believed to be the key to the queries about the workings of the most extreme objects in the cosmos. Bingham County Mine This copper mine is approximately 3 miles wide and nearly 4,000 feet deep. Also known as the richest hole on Earth, billions and billions of dollars worth of copper and other metals have been dug out from the Bingham Canyon site. 
Reportedly, the mine pries out 800 tons of pure copper, which is roughly around 1% of global demand. Another common name for this mine is Kennecott Copper Mine, located southwest of Salt Lake City, Utah, in the Ochre Mountains. The mine is the largest man-made excavation and deepest open pit mine in the world, which is considered to have produced more copper than any other mine in history. The copper ore was first discovered by two brothers, Sanford and Thomas Bingham, and still today the canyon is known by their name. Bingham County Mine, which has been running for over a century, has become a popular tourist site. Kula Super Deep Borehole The Kula Super Deep Borehole runs about 40,230 feet, 12,262 meters, or 7.6 miles, 12.2 kilometers, into Earth's surface. It is deeper than the deepest point of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, which lies at a depth of 11,034 meters, 36,201 feet, below sea level. The hole was constructed during the Cold Battle, and it took almost 20 years for the Soviets to drill about one-third of the way through the crust to the Earth's mantle. However, the deeper they went, the temperatures increased, and beyond a point, the Soviets couldn't drill any further. Drillers had no choice but to discontinue the effort, falling short of their 9.3 miles, 15 kilometers, goal. The drilling did give some information, such as, there is water 12 kilometers into Earth's crust, despite this previously being thought to be impossible. They also found 24 new types of long-deceased single-celled organisms and gained access to rocks that were 2.7 billion years old.